Hi, my name is Katherine Van Dorn. Um, I had a manometry done today and I now am having a pH study done. It is called the uh, ZEP HR and I would highly recommend uh, you having it done if you have a lot of acid uh, problems with reflux if it's prescribed by your physician. Um, they first did a manometry and what the manometry consisted of is a tube and its size is about the end of my pen there. And what they did is they put the two, they numb your nose with lidocaine or xylocaine in other words. And uh, they had me gargle several times and then put the tube down. They measure me while swallowing salt water because the tube on there on the manometry is made of gold. So I'm sure it's very, very expensive and has to be cleaned properly. Um, because per ounce it costs a lot of money for getting some gold. So I was pretty valuable today. But my poor dog had to suffer. This is uh, Sparky. Sparky, can you say hi to everybody? That's Sparky James. Um, Sparky uh, has been dealing with Miss Miserable here uh, for the last 24 hours. His mother took every squeak toy possible away from him because I was very irritable, grumpy. Uh, my language was not the best with my dog for the last 24 hours. I've had NGs put down before, Monoptery tried before in the past. Um, and it's been a successful trying to get it down. Thank goodness I have a wonderful GI doctor from Cleveland Clinic who put this tube down and did the manometry. And then after that, she put the uh, tube down for the pH balance, which I'm wearing for 24 hours. Now the tube, when they put the tube down, they measure it to a certain amount. And then the tube size is about the end of the pen here. It is copper with plastic over it, and then it has a tip down the bottom that measures your pH. Um, what you do is you have a tube that goes in your nose that comes around my ear, around my neck. And what I did is I conveniently put it down through my shirt so it wouldn't be as so obvious because a lot of people wear the thing around the shoulder. There's like a strap here and I'm going to show you. There's a strap here. I'm going to take it off right now just so you can see. And there's a bag that it goes into. To me it's more convenient to um, put it around my waist and have the tube going that way than having it around my shoulder and be really obvious. I'm going to go ahead and take the tubing out so you can see what it looks like in the bag. It's not a very big device. You cannot get it wet. You, can keep, you have to keep it dry so no showering. You can take a bath. This is the to, uh, device. It's called the Zep HR. And what on here has, it has a light on here so you can push the light I have to look here real quick lights on so what you do is one for me is nausea number two is for um, reflux and I don't have anything for number three I probably should put vomiting in case I do I do that sometimes then when you're eating you put here when you start when you're done eating you push down if you're laying down you put supine and you put this for standing so if you're laying down taking a nap or whatever you put it down so they can measure the acid reflux the other thing that you do do, I'm going to put it back in this bag here, is you record everything that you eat throughout the day, when you start eating, when you're done eating, so they can have a more accuracy of your um, intake, and also sometimes the acid base balance of what you're eating can affect uh, what's going on for you. And what's nice is they give you a little paper here to record your foods, also uh, times that you lay down, and also if any medication. Thank goodness they were nice enough to say I could take some Zofran. So I'm very pleased with that because I have sublingual Zofran and I will tell you it's worth the time of day. Um, my dog is a lot happier today since he got all the squeak toys back. I took them away from him yesterday. So I'm sure my boy Sparky is very pleased with me and he's been a lot calmer and more comfortable today. And he's not bothering me like he normally would. The tube is an uncomfortable tube to have down. Hello, Sparky. You uh, coming to check things out? Yep, that's mom. Okay, no bite in my tubes today, okay? All right, that's one thing you have to be careful of. Make sure nobody pulls on your tube, that you, you don't have those accidents. Like some people say, oh, yeah, the dog pulled it out. He grabbed a hold of the tube. The other excuses are, I sneezed and it came out. Now, if I sneezed and it came out, that would be a major miracle. The other one is, my arm grabbed it and pulled on it. And so I ended up pulling it out. Now, those are not the most cleverest things. It's like going to school and saying to somebody that your dog ate your homework. 
and that. So I'm watching my dog to make sure he doesn't grab my chew by accident because he's uh, a juvenile. He's only nine months old and he likes to chew on things. But if this is something um, your physician would recommend, I would highly recommend you have it done. Um, my doctor's from Cleveland Clinic here in Florida, and uh, she's an awesome um, gastroenterologist, and I would highly recommend you following up with a gastroenterologist if you have reflux problems and need to have this done. So I wish you the best of luck. Um, I get to take the tube out myself tomorrow morning, which I'm going to, uh, or I could go to the office and have them do it, which I hate to say I'm brave enough to take it out myself. Then I will take the back the battery pack here into the office with my papers. I will drop them off and I'm heading to the ocean to go scuba diving with a friend. And so good luck. Take care.